Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. <clears throat> Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Tuesday Panic, the show for the unprepared youth workers like you and me sometimes, right? And today I want to talk to you about this board back here. This is an illustration. This was a, uh, a leftover piece of wood. And if you watch me on Periscope, by the way, just follow me on Twitter at Paul Turner 2. And you, I do these live uh, broadcasts uh, where I talk about things. And I talk a little bit about this week about uh, how, how this was done. This was just a leftover piece of, if you can look back here, I'll show you kind of the back construct here. It's just a simple wall. Okay, and this is from what I did was uh, just bought a couple of pieces of um, uh, drywall here, two pieces, 10 bucks a piece, total of 20 bucks, super easy. Had some guys, some of uh, my uh, youth guys go ahead and cut it, put it up. Uh, and it comes from Daniel chapter five. And Daniel chapter five talks about the writing on the wall. And so what I didn't do here, and I thought about later that it would have been a cool intro if I was just preaching. Now, Daniel chapter five was kind of the, the opening illustration, if you will, but then I got into some other things about how God makes things plain to us in Scripture about prophecy and other things. Um, on this, though, what I would have done if I was just preaching on Daniel chapter 5, I would have wrote the word judgment in Hebrew on the wall. I would have just had a big thing, painted it on there like a, like a finger, maybe finger paint, because it talks about the finger of God uh, writing on the wall. And so what I did was I had a kid do the, help do the illustration with me, and so... Uh, what I did was, is I took uh, from here, just some from Matthew chapter 24, uh, you know, putting up there my points, right? Rather than using a PowerPoint, rather than anything, this was just, so, I just liked this because it's so, so um, you know, so hands-on. It feels like they can see it, do it. It's not digital. It's something that's right here in front of them. Um, you know, things like, you know, thing that's red, love will grow cold. And then I started into 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5, that the very evident things of our lives, that in the last days, you know, pe you know people will be, you know, lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, all those things. And it became something that they engaged with and helped me with and things like that. So um, it's real super, super, super easy. It just, it's just something that takes a little time, a little energy to be able to do. But there's so many ways you can use this. Now I have this wall right? Super. I have this thing now that I can do something else with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, uh, but I'm going to do something. And so what this does is talks about the writing of the wall. In fact, you could, you could uh, write these as you're preaching your message. You could write down physically or have somebody write down, maybe with a big uh, marker, uh, something like that, and be able to write these things down as you go uh, around that judgment part. When you put that judgment part in Hebrew, these things could be around that. So anyway, that is, uh, that is just a simple way to use this wall. I, I'm welcome, open to some ideas. What would you use this if you had a wall like this, by the way? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you would use this wall after you used it. Would you use it, continue to use it as a teaching tool? Would you use it somewhere else in your room? What else would you use it for? I'm looking for some ideas, so maybe you guys can help me out. So anyway, thank you for joining me today for the Tuesday Panic. I hope that you've uh, enjoyed the content you have had here today. Hopefully it will help your youth ministry. Uh, if you are a regular, as always, I'm so glad when you watch and comment and like and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, so please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. That lets me know you like the videos and you want more of them. And if you're brand spanking new, thanks for joining me for a little while today. Uh, hopefully you have gained something from this and you decided that, hey, this is a place uh, I can come to to get content about my youth ministry, learn a few things, uh, uh, get some tips and tricks, that kind of thing. And if you want stuff like this in your inbox, please hit the subscribe button right there and they will come right to you as I create them. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging with me a little bit today. I uh, hope to see you guys uh, next Monday. I'm meant to be Monday. And until then, have a fantastic youth meeting. See you guys later.